position. So I've set that to within maybe 20 microns, 20 micron microns. Length. And I did not need to touch a set no. of calipers, a micrometer, a depth gauge. I didn't even know actually how to use this machine until about, I don't know, five minutes That's ago. Right, yep. I'm here with Will at the Car Fulling Group. Now today we're talking about the Radomatic 400. Now I've never seen a heat shrink unit attached to a, a presetter. What is this? How does it work? So yeah, this is, uh, this is actually our Redomatic 400 machine. This is the, one of the latest additions to the Redomatic range from Zoller. And if, um, if you're not already familiar with the Redomatic range, this allows for quick, easy and accurate tool heat shrinking processes, um, but also offers a element of uh, operator independence. Um, so at each stage through the process, uh, the, the operator is going to be prompted, going to be informed exactly what's going to happen at each point in the process. It's going to kind of teach them through the process and allow them to set the tools within only a few microns of their nominal values from here, just the tool holder and the tool itself. Um, it's a process that we, that we like to demonstrate a lot because we feel it is such a nice, easy process and an intuitive process for the operators to go through. Okay, so I, and I've been told I'm going to demonstrate That's now. Right, I've, yeah. I've only ever seen this, I've only seen Will do this once now. Yeah. So I'm going to have a quick go. Will, how do I start? Do I so, hit this F5 here? Correct. We have already a preloaded program. Um, within the preloaded program, we have all of the nominal information that we require for the tool. So and I want to pick this, tricky measuring. That's correct. At this stage, it's actually going to ask the operator what is it is what it is okay. that he wants to do so i pick the uh the setting sleeve which yep. is this one here because so it's, it's telling me how to do this this Put is it all inside. indicated on the screen so normally you would have okay so i've done that so normally you have a heat shrink machine and also oh do i have to put the tool in as well just Brilliant. put the tool in quick yeah wait so normally you have to have a you'd buy a heat shrink machine and also a preset to go alongside it now That's right. the combination of these two allows a very special function mm -hmm. um, can you explain what that function is please so we can see it now actually on on the screen it's, it's it's doing what we call an azerod search and you'll see if you watch closely the tool is moving now and this is because our azerods are actually moving up through the middle of the spindle and this is actually pushing the tool up and down now so we're setting the tool stick out that's right with a target uh, a target value here rather than me having to get in with a vernier caliper and measure it exactly set it measure it we've measured the tool here once it's now retracted back and it's ready for the heat shrink process but within maybe only a few seconds while we were talking it's already measured it okay the azerod now although we can't see this is actually resting somewhere within the spindle ready so, that's... so that when the tool's heated up when the tool hold is heated up you just drop the tool in and what's going to be our target what's our target measurement is it 100... so here we have 150, 150 millimeters mil. nominal which is a really nice nominal yeah. figure just to bang in your machine and, if and it's it, right and it makes life very easy for the operator here all they have to do is just read the message so it's told me to put a safety glove on put the safety glove on right, yeah okay let's do this the induction so coil the, here is going to heat the, the tool take holder, the whole, take it all yeah, out. Everything out. Yep. Nice. So the induction coil is actually going to heat the tool holder here to around about 300 degrees Celsius in just under four seconds. So four seconds. Okay, so it's, it's going to be quick. It's not just the, the heat itself that's important through the process, but the speed of it. Okay. Shall um, I try and hit this button now? Yes, press F1 and it will start the process. F1. Induction Oi, here coil we go. is going to come down. Okay. Just wait until it goes back up. So let okay, it heat yeah. the holder up. It's going to take so it's heating up the holder seconds. now, and we're extracting it as well. I've we never have. seen there's a there's a lot of little additions to this, so I just drop this in. That's so right. that is bottoming out on, not a, a bottom inside the tool holder. It's on this azerod Actually here, which is on, on the, the azerod, inside yeah. of the, the presetter. So as an operator, all you have to do is drop the tool in. Everything else is taken care of with the machine. It's now telling us to to put the cooling sleeve on. So we okay, have so a suite of cooling sleeves it's telling us which one mil. we need. Perfect. So I'm going to put this cooling sleeve on. Just put that Bang over the top there. of the holder. Nice. You can say that it's now in position. So press F1 on the screen, press and all F1. it's going to do now is actually just circulate the coolant through these cooling jackets that we have. Nice, and that's just going around and the cooling jacket and, and conducting right. away the heat from the tool. That's what it's doing, so it's now actually cooling the tool holder down, so it's gone down, it's heated the tool holder up first so you can put the tool in, and now it's actually going through the process of cooling it, so that it's now clamping that tool in position. So I've set that to within maybe 20 microns 20 micron microns. length and i did not need to touch a set no. of calipers a micrometer a depth gauge i didn't even know actually how to use this machine until about i don't know five minutes That's ago right, yep. so that is so easy to use to even just set what well, is quite complex setting the stick out of a, a complex tool yep. where maybe the stick out needs to be within 20 micron that's right yeah the whole the whole process is made easy at each point on the screen you would have seen prompts it tells us exactly what you need to do as an operator so this allows for uh, you know, someone with, with not so much experience on the machine to actually run the machine and set tools within 
a, a few microns from nominal values and it's quick, it's process controlled, uh, it's safe. Uh, at each point here it's telling us exactly what the process is going to be. All of the heating parameters are stored within the database of the machine, so this means that we're not overheating the holders, we're not damaging the holders, we're improving then the tool life for everything else that we have on the, on the shop floor. And, uh, and, and like I say, the, the main thing is the process control. Brilliant. So now it's finished cooling the, the tool holder. Yep. It's telling us that we can take the jacket off. So we just store this back and we press OK yep, on okay. the screen. And now you'll see the camera actually come back so in. So now coming in measuring that tool length that we've just set That's using right. the Azerods. So it's just going to measure it quickly. And then on the screen, we'll see here whether it's passed or failed. We have here 150.0. 26. 26, 26 microns. That's amazing. Thank you for letting me do the demo, Will. It's a great piece of kit. If you're interested in total process control with all of your heat tooling, get in touch with Will, get in touch with Andy, find out what Zola can do for you.